Hi fam and welcome to La Foten or more accurately to Henningsvea Football Stadium which is the most Instagrammed football stadium in the whole world. We're gonna have a little wander around, a little explore, get some footage Everyone's already run off and there's a few people over there having picnics. <laughs> what did you do Esme? I missed, I wasn't watching. <laughs> oh, I watched the clip back. There's so many drones up in the air here already. So cool! Uh, so that was a lot of fun, but now it's time to get strapped back in, get back on the road and we're going to sleep because we've got about an hour and a quarter journey south into Lofoten to a very special place next, so we'll catch you when we get there. Right, guys a big fat welcome to Ramberg Ramberg Beach this is one of the bucket list places that you need to come and visit when you come to Lofoten it is right down in the south of Lofoten just yeah. before the town of Reen I think I'm hopefully pronouncing that right but that's where our de next destination is because it's extremely beautiful but this beach this big wide swooping beach of white sand which is very famous in in northern Norway all the beaches have super white sand. White sand, beautiful emerald green ocean, and then the mountain range behind it. It's just insane. It makes for the best sunset spot ever, as you've just seen on the drone. Look at that. The sun's just popped behind the mountain now. But this beach has been full of people, just with cameras taking the sunset pictures. And then obviously right here, 
it goes out to the open ocean over there. So, super, super beautiful, absolutely stunning, especially with the snow caps all around the outside of it. It's insane. Like, everybody needs to see this when you come to Lofoten. It's a little bit of a drive, but it's super worth it. And you've got this cool little car parking place that you can just stop at, so it's really cool. This is the best. This is like the perfect ending to a, a really cool day. Aurora's asleep in the van, so Sarah stayed back with her. But just listen to these guys, just laughing their heads off. <laughs> you just can't beat it. I'm um, just with like a backdrop like this. It's just mad. Like, could you imagine this place in the summer? when you could actually get in the water <laughs> without actually dying. It's just stunning. Norway is just out of this world. It's my favorite country by far. By far. Where else in the world are you gonna get scenes like this? Nowhere. It's just unbelievable. And um, we did want to end the day in Rhein, which is gonna be our most southern spot on this little Lofoten tour. We wanted to end the day there in time to film it in the light, but we've been chasing the light a little bit today. Had a couple of delays and slowed down moments in the daytime, which has ended up with the sun setting on us a little bit earlier than we wanted. But it's all good. We're going to stay nearby. Perfect though. We got here at the perfect time. Yeah. For yeah. To be fair. Yeah. Beautiful. Actually, Isabel's right. We got here at the perfect time for this well, beach. Yeah. I yeah. feel like if it was like really bright midday, it's still beautiful, but like the pinky sunset yeah. is really beautiful. Yeah, Isabel's right. Actually, we had delays, but they're obviously clearly for a reason because we've come here at the right time. It's worth it. Definitely worth it and we'll get up in the morning. We've got to be somewhere Yay! right at the top in Svalvea again for 2.30 tomorrow because we're going on a really special little adventure tomorrow afternoon. It's about two hours away. So basically we'll stay near Reen tonight and we'll get up in the morning and film Reen and show you guys all that tomorrow before we head back up north towards our special little adventure that we're doing in the afternoon. I need to go swimming, Dad. <laughs> I have to go swimming, it looks You so always nice. hear that when you get in there. <laughs> I need to go swimming. It does. It's <laughs> properly mega. And there's some houses on the far side of the bay over there. And I'm like, can you imagine their life living here? Like having this inc insane view and just living in this remote land of magic, which is what this is. Like it's just, it's so remote and so gorgeous. And it, it's a tough drive. It's, I mean, a tough drive is probably the wrong word, but it's a drive to get here. Um, over some rugged one single track lane roads, especially in that big beast. But you know, even though you're out here in the middle of nowhere, you feel like that anyway. I've still got full 4G. <laughs> um, but can you imagine living that life just with this kind of scenery around you all the time? And you know, you've got your local village extra store to get all your groceries at. But other than that, what else do you need, right? It's just mega. I just. I just just feel so lucky to be here. It's just mega. Um, excuse my dusty, dusty, dusty windows right now, but parked up on the top of this cliff top, looking out at that beautiful view we've just been down on. Esme and I are still playing outside to making TikToks. And um, we're gonna make some dinner and enjoy the view here tonight before we go find somewhere to park. 
So we're having a wrap. We're having like a breakfast wrap for dinner tonight, which is a bit random, but it's right. Oh. Up I know it's right up our street. We're having cheese, bacon, this potato thingy, my Bobby do's, scrambled egg, some of this cheesy sauce, all wrapped up in a wrap, and then we're gonna have melon for dessert. Now, I was about to say we were. Oh, as my, did as my get that wrong? Did she read the top date? I bet she's read the made by date. I bet she's read she's read the produced by date. I think. No, she can't have done because it was mouldy, wasn't it? No, maybe it's not mouldy. No. Those little black bits on it that are just part of the bread. Yeah, they're just part of the bread. Esme's on right, the whole in all day long. Uh, There's no, nothing no. even wrong with it. Guys, this is not even funny. It's almost right. Go on then, Isabel. So we were sat, we were sat here. I got two of those wraps. I had two. I ate two to myself. Esme just got one out, either just got one out, right? She's making it herself and she goes, it's got black bits on it. And I was like, yeah, it's normal. There's just black, there's black bits on mine. It's just, it's, just, it's just the wrap, right? And she goes, no, no, I think it's actually mold. And Esme goes, right, I'll check the packet. Esme told me it went out a date on the I 19th. bought them yesterday. Yeah, and Esme said they went out, they've gone out a date on the 19th of February. And I was like, what? I've just eaten two of those wraps. Esme went, oh, I'm going to get ill now. I'm going to get sick. ill. I'm going to be sick. I'm going to be sick. It's the end. It's the end. She went, Mum, I'm going to be sick. I was like, what? She was like, I've, I've eaten wraps that went out of date on the so and so right. February. And I'm like, oh, well, hopefully not. It's only bread. You'll probably be fine. So I've been worrying all day, basically. And I've been like. But Esme has definitely been worrying all day. Isabel's oh, no, no, been no. on edge all day. I've just got the wraps out now. Because I was like, how can they. I bought them yesterday. And I was like, you. I literally bought them yesterday. I was like, that's so bad. How can they be out of date oh, already? No. And Esme's like, they went out of date in February. I've just looked now. I mean, this isn't the bag she opened, but that means that they were produced on the 10th of February, but the best before on the 7th of the 10th. So these are going to be last until October. I bet one of them mould that I either found. I bet it was just a bit of, you know... And now I'm looking at these. I'm trying to look like it was just a bit like that. Yeah, like, I don't know. Like, why she showed me? I was like, I don't think that's mould either. Yeah, but Esme said they were best before. Yeah, but she's silly. Yeah, maybe she just read it wrong. They can't have been out of it. I need the packet that you ate from. But we're either going to make them in these, like bread things or these oh, actual baby. wraps look at the size difference though between that i was planning on just making them in this like a little bit of egg a little bit of bacon wrapping them up and having like two each or maybe even three each because they are really small but actually can you imagine because look at the size difference <sighs> can you imagine a bit of egg there, a bit of bacon and cheese there, and Put then it, potatoes, fold and it, then fold, fold it, it, fold it, fold it, fold it. Not fry it, but you know. Yeah, cook it. and then crisp it. Oh, That'd yeah. be nice, that. Shall I do that instead? Yeah, do that. Do All it. right, I'll do that. Oh. <laughs> Get that thumb out of your mouth. Look how much she's going for it with the thumb. She is such a thumb sucker. She's so cute. She's a baby sensory oh, wee thumb. Over the last few days, she's done nothing more than suck her thumb. Mmm. Mm. Does it taste good? <laughs> so you me? Little cutie. Woo! We've cooked the bacon. We've now do it. We're now doing the potatoes. I've added some garlic and some paprika. It smells so good. It's got onion in it. it. Smells divine. And then the eggs are just going on. I've also put a bit of paprika on those. And then we're going to make this into a scrambled egg in a second. Yeah. Right, guys. We're opening out our wrap. We're doing a little slice down here. Popping a bit of cheese there. Bacon on top of that. Don't judge how burnt the bacon is. It wasn't by accident. That's the only way our family eat the bacon. Crispy, crispy. <laughs> crispy, crispy. Above that, we're gonna put on some scrambled egg. And then at the side of that, a spoonful of potatoes. We're gonna sprinkle a little bit of salt here. And then, we're going to fold that over onto there. Mum, you have this at me, please. What, darling? Oh, Thanks, Jace. Fold it over to there. Fold the last piece over. Oh, blooming delicious. Just parked up for the night. Guess who's come to grace us? Yeah. It's actually very clear on the camera. That's a good picture, Isla. Yeah, but I keep, every time I take a picture, these are in the sky. What's that? It looks like a fish. <laughs> it's, it's not it's just like bright lights and stars but it's like reflecting on your phone and when you're moving slightly it's making it blurry yeah that's a really cool but yeah mm. i don't know if you can see on the camera like this is the picture that we've just taken our cameras are amazing but this is the photo that isla's just taken of that beast in front of us just there um but the lights are definitely out just over here over this mountain 
when you block out light out, you can see it much better. Um, as you can see that is Isla hanging out of her roof on her bedroom <laughs> with Esme, they're just watching the sky from the bedroom. Aurora's just gone to bed with Sarah at the back and Isla and Esme are on the roof right now. Hanging out of the bedroom watching the Aurora. So I am, we're parked at a park for night spot basically which is near the tourist information place in Reen which is one of their main spots. We're right, basically right at the, almost right at the very south tip end of Lofoten. So we've gone all the way through the Lofoten Islands today and we're right at the bottom. And Reen is meant to be somewhere that's extremely beautiful to visit. I think it might be a little bit too windy to do this here. I'm just trying to find some light. Because the best thing about this place is that there's no light so you can see the sky and everything like you won't believe how clear it is tonight, the universe is just out there. It's about two hours and 10 minutes-ish from Svalvia, where we slept last night, which is kind of the entrance gateway to the Lovoten Islands. And it takes about two, two hours and 10 minutes to get to the very bottom, where we are now. There is like another little tiny bit you can go, like to the very, very tip, tip bottom, but this is kind of like one of the last big main places on the route to the very, very end. If you look, I'll put a map over the screen right now so you can see what I'm talking about. But tomorrow, we're waking up and we're making the most of Reen here. We're gonna see the sights there is to be seen here. Obviously, you'll get to see that tomorrow. And then we're making the two hour drive back north to Svalvia, where we woke up yesterday, this morning, sorry, where we woke up this morning because we are catching something very cool. Basically, I have to come back tomorrow and find out because it's going to be wicked. Um, but yeah, we're doing something really cool tomorrow, which is going to be like the last thing we're doing on this trip because after then, it's just we're getting on the road and we're bombing it home basically via via a little stop off on the way. So you guys might know what that might be, but we're definitely stopping on the way in another country that is way south from where we are right now. But it's going to be very nice indeed. And um, but yeah, this is tomorrow is going to be the last little last little shindig on this trip. Last little kickoff, last um, last amazing little adventure, which we're all we've all been talking about tonight. Like we're all been reminiscing on our best bits and feeling sad that it's coming to an end. But um, you know, it, this this trip has gone on a little bit longer than we ever anticipated it to because we've just not wanted to go home. But you know, we have to go home now because we've got other things that are happening this year that we have to go back and start getting ready for. So you know, this is the end, but. Well, tomorrow's the end, tomorrow's the end. So, you know, tomorrow's gonna be the last day. And then we're gonna take a few days off camera and bomb it home, basically. Uh, bomb it to our next little stop anyway, at least, which is kind of halfway home. Because we're doing something fun. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed my Aurora time lapses. And um, yeah, I just, I, I wish that everybody could see 
these kind of sites at least once in their lifetime because it's one thing to watch them on a video like this but it's a completely other thing to be in and amongst these ridiculously awe-inspiring mountains and these beautiful snowy scenes and then see these insane colours just dancing across the sky in front of you. It's mad. So anybody that's had been fortunate enough to be able to see the Northern Lights in real life will know what I'm talking about. But yeah, I wish everybody could see them at least once in their lifetime because they're just, there's no words. They're just amazing. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, give it a thumbs up, hope you enjoyed and we'll see you tomorrow for our very penultimate last day on this amazing Arctic adventure. Good night guys.